हो दिस वॉज नॉट द टाइम टू लूज दिस वॉज एब्सोलूटली नॉट द टाइम टू लूज बट इट इज वॉट इट इज ब्लॉकॉस ओ सॉरी ड्रेकॉस डू दैट इज नेम अभी ड्रेकॉस डू That Dracos do sound more of South Africa than South Africa Makifizulu. Dracos do is a real South African name. Yeah, their real native name. Dracos do. Mia Le Le Rose. Well, uh, Adrestania lost to Blockos. No, sorry, to Dracos. Unfortunately, this was not what we were expecting because this fight was just more than a fight. It was more than a fight. It involves two countries in Africa. Well, one is pretending to be an African from South Africa, while the other one is truly an African man from Nigeria, but do not stay in Nigeria though, but it kind of like remember his heritage. These two guys battle it off and we Nigeria stood firmly behind Israel the Sanya which we have always done and of course South Africa stood firmly some South Africa stood firmly behind Blockos no sorry Dracos and very fortunate for this those people in South Africa that supported Blockos Dracos Of course, he won, and fortunately for us over here, Adrestan had lost. But I want to make this clear. I want to bring this out to you. Uh, I I want to bring the picture out, guys. What makes us stronger together? What makes us unique in our own way is that no matter where you go to us in Nigeria, uh, as long as you are doing the right thing. If you fail or lose, huh? we are always strongly behind you. We still going to support you next time. There is room to fumble. There is room to lose. So, I don't know if Ajasanya will see this video, but I want to tell you guys Mm? you tried your best you made us proud we remember those flying colors of that time how you raised our flag so high you made us proud you took that belt you brought that belt well back to nigeria to show it to nigeria that yeah you are the ufc champion you made us all proud we will never forget that We are not going to eat some few losses and forget those many wins. We are proud of you, my brother. Hmm? Don't let this bring you down. The fight, I knew what the fight meant to you. How this guy humiliated you, speak down on you, on your heritage. Even made you cry. Yeah, he made Israel cry now. Cry, real cry. Israel was crying. At the recent uh, past... Uh, conference is red cried it made him cry so israel we are strongly behind you we love you we appreciate you so do not let any of those things take you down we are fully behind you we're going to support you regardless and just be good just be who you are and continue well as for us over here ninja hmm? First of South Africa. This will always be something that we come from years to years to years to years. And uh, of course, guys, we know what it was to us. It wasn't about Israel versus uh, Dracos fight. It was about South Africa and Nigeria versus Nigeria fight. This was what it was to us over here. 
It meant more than just a fight. We needed Israel to win. In fact, a lot of people needed Israel to win. A lot of people lose money as well. I didn't bet. I didn't lose nothing. But I know someone who lose a lot of money. And of course, you guys know him. Yes, uh, Drake. Drake lost apparently more than... Uh, he lost 450,000 US dollars. 450,000 US dollars. He bet on Israel to beat Dracos. And also Chris Brown as well, for the first time, seeing him losing money to belt, uh, to bet, he, he, he bet on, uh, on Israel Adesanya to beat uh, Dracos. He bet the sum of 150,000 US dollars. Well, unfortunately, they all lost that money. Dracos won. And people will be saying, you know, you should go on social media. You will see a lot of crazy comments, you know, talking about, uh, you know, the dominant Africa country and everything. See, and again, reintroducing, you know, I know some of you are already tired about this particular talk. Reintroducing Chidima matter into the whole space, you know. All this started, the reason why we were even paying attention to South Africa to begin with was because of Chidima and how they humiliated Chidima. Now we have embraced Chidima to Nigeria now, and yet they have not stopped. Because that, this is another blow to our face, which we know, but, eh, you know, they have been blowing us to our face ever since. And the only thing we ever did to South Africa was to help them, was to assist them. Of course, I posted something of how South Africa or how Nigeria spent the sum of $61 billion to assist other countries. To assist other countries, including South Africa, mostly South Africa. How the head of state, governors, and the government staff over here donated their salary. There was what we called Mandela tax. It was compulsory to all of us. School kids skipping school meals in order to donate that money to Mandela tax. Raising money every month on behalf of South Africa during their tough times. And it was recorded, according to South Africa History of Institute, it was recorded that no one assisted South Africa. No one, listen. No one assisted South Africa hmm, with finance more than Nigeria. Go read your history. The reason why some people clean up history is because of division. Go and read your history. No one, your, go and read your history, your history, not even our history. Go read yours. No one assisted South Africa financially more than Nigeria. We have continuously showed you love. Should you love to the extent that we will show love to your women? Yeah. Show them love to the point that they even want to come here. It's just only some few women who are feminists that are so angry about that and also most of your men as well who feel that they have been cheated by Nigerian men taking over their women. Personal grief. They talk about drugs scattering their country. When I see video of people stealing and and, and hijacking people on the way or going to hijack us. Maybe you're going to play that on Nigeria too. When we see how you beat your women, maybe you're going to play that on Nigerians too, right? Huh? Really? But when we talk about your land, maybe you're going to blame that on Nigerians too. Hmm? Your farm spaces be taken away. Maybe you're going to blame that on Nigerians too. Your light, your cable light be stolen, your light, uh, inadequate uh, power supply. Maybe you're going to blame that on Nigerians too. Hmm? So it was just deeper than a fight between Israel and Sanya versus Dracos. It was bigger than that. We have our personal issues that we needed to clear. You guys beat us 1-0 with Chidima's case and then beat us another 2-0 with uh, 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 Israel at the Sanya's case. And guess who? Who fought for you? White people. The first one, white people, white, a, 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 a white girl took over, which I'm a big congrats to Mia. 
she really, really deserve it. And the other one, a white guy also took over. That's why when I keep saying, nobody even recognize South African men. Don't you think there's a strong word behind that? When you talk about South Africa, no one record, we don't even think about South African men. All we see is your women. And if we want to take about any, uh, the men, we think about the white. Well, big up to South Africa. And uh, see you next time in the future. Understand? Alex, uh, Israel, understand? Yeah? Don't worry. This is just a minor setback. Hmm? Bye, guys.